Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into some seriously heavy stuff. We're talking about Russia's most intimidating military hardware. We're talking about the kind of firepower that makes you rethink your whole day, you know? From mind-blowing missiles that can cross continents like it's nothing to cutting-edge tech that seems ripped straight out of a sci-fi movie, we're gonna break it all down. We're talking serious firepower, the kind of stuff that makes you realize the world is a wild, wild place. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the crazy stuff we've got coming up. All right, let's do this. First up, we've got the Toe S1A, nicknamed the Sunburn. This thing is basically a giant flamethrower on steroids. I'm talking thermobaric rockets, folks. These things don't just explode, they suck up all the oxygen in the area and create these massive pressure waves that can obliterate anything in their path. Imagine you're hunkered down in a bunker, thinking you're safe, and then, BAM! This thing unleashes a wave of fire and fury that can reach up to six miles away. Six miles! That's like hitting a golf ball from here to the moon. Okay, maybe not that far, but you get the idea. What's really wild is that this thing is designed to take out fortified positions. So if you think you're safe behind concrete walls, think again. The sunburn is coming for you and it's bringing the heat. And it's not just the immediate blast you gotta worry about. The thermobaric explosion sucks the oxygen out of the air, creating a vacuum that can literally crush your lungs. It's brutal, man. This thing is no joke. And it's a perfect example of how Russia is willing to bring the big guns when it comes to warfare. They're not messing around. Next up is a real monster, the RT-2PM2 Topol M, or as NATO calls it, the Sickle B. This is an intercontinental ballistic missile, and let me tell you, this thing is the real deal. We're talking about a missile that can travel over 6,800 miles, carrying a nuclear warhead that can wipe out an entire city. And it's not just one warhead. Some reports say it can carry multiple warheads, each one capable of independent targeting. That's just insane. This thing is like a flying nuke and it's designed to strike fear into the hearts of anyone who dares to mess with Russia. It's a reminder that they're not afraid to use whatever means necessary to protect their interests. What's even crazier is that this thing is almost impossible to shoot down. It's got these crazy maneuverable capabilities and can fly through enemy defenses like they're not even there. So yeah, the Topol M is a serious piece of hardware. It's a reminder that we live in a world where this kind of destructive power exists, and it's not something to be taken lightly. Now let's talk about air defense. Russia takes protecting its airspace very seriously, and they've got the technology to back it up. Enter the S-400 and the even more advanced S-500 systems. These are not your average anti-aircraft guns, folks. The S-400 Triumph is a game-changer. It's like having a giant invisible shield over your head, capable of detecting and destroying enemy aircraft, drones, and even those fancy hypersonic missiles everyone's talking about. We're talking a range of over 250 miles enough to cover a significant chunk of territory. But wait, there's more. The S-500 Prometheus takes air defense to a whole new level. This beast can reach out and touch something over 370 miles away, specifically designed to take down those super-fast hypersonic threats. It's like swatting a fly with a laser beam, but on a much grander scale. Together, these systems create a layered defense network that's incredibly difficult to penetrate. It's like trying to sneak past a pack of guard dogs, except these dogs have radar, missiles, and a serious attitude problem. So, if you're thinking about flying into Russian airspace uninvited, you might want to reconsider. The S-400 and S-500 are watching, waiting, and more than capable of turning your fancy fighter jet into a smoldering pile of scrap metal. Hold on to your hats, folks, because things are about to get really interesting. We're talking hypersonic missiles, the kind of technology that seems like it's straight out of a science fiction movie. Russia's got a few aces up its sleeve in this department, and they're not afraid to show them off. First up, we have the Avangard, a hypersonic glide vehicle that's about as subtle as a meteor shower. This thing can reach speeds of up to Mach 27, which is 27 times the speed of sound in case you were wondering. That's like traveling from New York to Los Angeles in about 10 minutes. Then there's the Zircon, a hypersonic cruise missile that laughs in the face of conventional defenses. This bad boy can hit targets over 600 miles away at speeds exceeding Mach 9. That's like trying to hit a bullet with another bullet, except the other bullet is also on fire and traveling at nine times the speed of sound. Good luck with that. And let's not forget about the Kinzhal, a hypersonic missile launched from fighter jets, which means it can be deployed anywhere, anytime. 
This thing screams towards its target at speeds exceeding Mach 10, making it virtually impossible to intercept. These hypersonic weapons are a game-changer, giving Russia the ability to strike anywhere in the world with incredible speed and precision. It's a whole new level of military might and it's definitely something to keep you up at night. Let's talk about versatility for a second. Russia's got this thing called the Iskander M missile system, and it's like the Swiss Army knife of modern warfare. It's mobile, it's deadly, and it can ruin your day in a hurry. NATO calls it the SS-26 Stone, which sounds pretty badass if you ask me. Imagine this, you're looking at a seemingly ordinary truck minding your own business, and then BAM! It launches a missile that can travel over 300 miles and hit a target with pinpoint accuracy. That's the Iskander M for you. This thing is designed to evade air defenses, popping up out of nowhere, launching its payload, and then disappearing just as quickly. It's like a phantom, striking fear into the hearts of its enemies. And the best part? It can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, which means it can be used for a wide range of missions, from taking out enemy command posts to, well let's just say things could get very messy, very quickly. The Iskander M is a prime example of Russia's focus on tactical flexibility and precision strikes. It's a weapon that can adapt to any situation, and that's what makes it so dangerous. So, We've talked about long-range missiles and hypersonic weapons, but what about close-range defense? Russia's got that covered too, with the Pantsir S-1, a mobile air defense system that's like a walking fortress. This thing is a beast, armed with rapid-fire cannons that can shred incoming aircraft, and a suite of heat-seeking missiles that leave no place to hide. It's like something out of a video game, except the stakes are very real. The Panzer S-1 is designed to protect valuable assets on the battlefield like tanks, infantry units, and other critical infrastructure. It's like having a personal bodyguard that can shoot down anything that flies too close, and it's not just aircraft that the Panzer S-1 can handle. This thing can also take out helicopters, drones, and even those pesky cruise missiles that everyone's so worried about. What makes the Panzer S-1 even more formidable is its mobility. It's mounted on a truck chassis which means it can be deployed anywhere and move quickly to respond to threats. It's like a mobile shield, protecting its comrades from all angles. All right, let's talk drones, the future of warfare. And when it comes to drones, Russia's not just playing catch up, they're leading the pack with some seriously advanced technology. First up, we've got the Kronstadt Orion, a male drone, which stands for medium altitude, long endurance. This thing is like the marathon runner of the drone world, capable of staying airborne for over 24 hours at a time. Imagine having a bird's eye view of the battlefield for an entire day, gathering intelligence, relaying information back to command, and even launching precision airstrikes when needed. That's the power of the Orion. Then there's the Zala Lancet, a smaller, more agile drone that's like a flying buzzsaw of destruction. This thing is designed for one thing, to take out enemy targets with extreme prejudice. The Lancet is what you might call a loitering munition, which is a fancy way of saying it can hang out in the air, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And when it does strike, it hits hard. These drones are changing the face of warfare, giving Russia a decisive edge in intelligence gathering, surveillance, and targeted attacks. It's a whole new world out there, folks, and drones are here to stay. And now for the grand finale, the weapon that makes even the most hardened military analysts sweat, the RS-28 Sarmat, affectionately known as Satan II. This, my friends, is not your average intercontinental ballistic missile. This thing is an absolute monster, the largest ICBM ever built, capable of carrying up to 15 independently targetable nuclear warheads. Each one of those warheads is more powerful than all the bombs dropped in World War II combined. Let that sink in for a minute. The Sarmat has a range of over 11,000 miles, which means it can basically reach any target on the planet. And it's not just the sheer destructive power that makes it so terrifying, it's the psychological impact. Just knowing that this weapon exists is enough to make any adversary think twice before messing with Russia. Some folks call it a doomsday device and while that might be a bit of an exaggeration, there's no denying that the Sarmat is a weapon of unparalleled power and a stark reminder of the stakes involved in modern warfare. And there you have it folks, a glimpse into the terrifying and fascinating world of Russia's most lethal weapons. From hypersonic missiles to drone swarms and everything in between, Russia has assembled an arsenal that demands respect, if not outright fear. Each of these weapons represents a significant investment in military technology, a testament to Russia's commitment to maintaining its position on the global stage. Whether you're fascinated by military hardware or just trying to keep up with the latest geopolitical happenings, 
there's no denying that Russia's military might is a force to be reckoned with. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the crazy stuff we've got coming up. Stay curious, my friends.